everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the new fabrics that have come into my shop Guthrie and Ganny during April. So I like to try and do one of these videos every month just to give you a roundup of everything new that has come in and I'm going to show you lots of close-ups of the fabrics as well so you can get a really good idea of how they feel and how they drape and how they move. But we are finding right now that demand is still pretty high things can sell out quite quickly so it's always best to keep an eye on the just arrived section of the website all of the new fabrics that arrive during the month always get listed there so it's the best place to kind of keep up to date with the new things that are coming in you can also watch my weekly instagram live sessions and depending on when you're watching this video it might have changed from a friday to a sunday so you can check out the details of that on my instagram profile usually in that video i share with you what's arrived that week and answer lots of sewing questions as well that you love to send in to me so it would be nice to see you there as well but I've got a really lovely selection of super summery stuff to show you tonight which is very exciting and I've also had a restock of quite a few different popular fabrics I'm going to quickly recap on them first of all and then I'm going to get straight into the new stuff so the fabric that I'm wearing just now this is the Jennifer Lauren Astara top and this fabric's back in stock this is the mid stripe and ginger and off-white so it's a lovely just nice kind of t-shirt weight jersey fabric so yeah perfect for any sort of t-shirt style tops so that is back in stock we do have it due in the two other colorways we had it in a blue and a kind of light greeny color as well they are on their way they're just going to take a little bit longer and then we've also had back in this one that is on the roll behind me here this is the animal splash print and it is on a tensile jersey which is absolutely gorgeous it's really lovely and floaty and kind of lightweight i'll open a little bit out so that you can see it it's super super comfy to wear i've got a true bias real t-shirt in this one but any t-shirt pattern would be good it would be really lovely for the closet core ebony as well because it's quite swishy but would cross over really well into dresses too you'd even make a jumpsuit with it and it's just this really lovely color palette it's navy blue those sort of splodges are so yeah a lovely combination of colors there so pleased to have that one back in stock again then we've also had quite a few colorways of the loop back stripe fabric which is also on the rolls behind me here so we've had the navy with the wide stripe and then the red narrow stripe and then we've also got the teal and the orange one and then we do have the ginger and the light pink one back in stock as well and um, we did have the wide the light pink wide stripe with the ginger narrow stripe it went really really quickly it went in like a day i think and um, so we are expecting more of that one you can always email us if that if you're interested in that particular one but this is a brilliant fabric it's really versatile i would say that it sits between like a lighter t-shirt weight fabric and a sweatshirting fabric the look back texture of it does give it a sort of heavier handle and um, but it's not like fleecy on the back so it's not as kind of warm and snuggly I guess as a sweat typical sweatshirting fabric but crosses really nice over into both types of patterns so you could use this to make a sweatshirt pattern or you could use it for more of a top pattern as well I've got a Jennifer Lauren gable top in the pink one and it works really nicely but I've seen people like make it to use jumper patterns you know like the linden so lots of different options for that one as well then also back in stock is our ever popular animal print on white sweatshirting so this has got that really lovely fleecy back to it the white is definitely my favorite colorway I've got a linden made out of this one and I used the white cuffing fabric for the hem band and the cuffs and the neck band as well we have had it come back in in the green as well the hunter green which is really nice and we've still got a little bit of the gray and the orangey color back as well but yeah this one is just such a gorgeous fabric i love it so much i wear my linden of it all the time but good for all of the jumper patterns you know the the belly would work for that one the toaster and um, all of those patterns the jet the megan nielsen jara that's come back into stock this week as well so another really lovely sweatshirt option 
and then also back in stock is the fabric that we used for the True Bias Marlowe cardigan that was in our window display. It's this really gorgeous snuggly pink waffle fabric so the outside of it's got this really gorgeous sort of brush texture. It feels really really soft, got qu quite floppy fabric but perfect for that sort of oversized style of the Marlowe. It's really, really nice. So the pinks come back in, the grey is due. It should be coming very, very soon, like within the next couple of days. So depending on when you're watching the video, it might be back already, but yet the pink is back now. So yeah, that's the restocks that I just wanted to highlight to you because I know they've been popular. And um, the first fabric that I wanted to show you are the two new Atelier Brunette fabrics. So super fans of Atelier Brunette will remember that quite a few years ago they did used to do a French terry sweatshirting fabric. It was really really popular and we always tried to like get it back in again but eventually they just stopped selling it and stopped making it and we've been waiting for them to bring out a similar type of fabric again and finally it's here which is really exciting. So there's two colourways of the same print, a light one and a dark one. Um, so this one here is called Night and probably the most common question I get asked about this one is whether it's black or navy. I think it could be interpreted in both. It's not like a jet black, it's not like a dark dark black but it is definitely darker than like your classic navy so they've aptly called it night because then it could sort of be interpreted as both really but it's such a lovely colour and then these kind of splodges that are on it kind of look a bit like apples and pears and um, are just beautiful colours as well so the reverse of it is a fleece back but I would say it is more of like a lighter weight sweatshirting fabric, but still totally suitable for all of the sweatshirt and jumper patterns that are out there. We do have some of the matching ribbing as well. So it's just like plain um, ribbing to match that. Depending on when you're watching this video, it might or might not be in stock. I do have more on the way as I'm filming it, but sometimes things get stuck at customs because it comes from France. And then this one is the off-white colourway, which is gorgeous. Um, I really like this one. It's super summery. It's just lovely. And again, just really nice colour palette and those sort of splodges that are on it. Got that gorgeous fleecy soft back again. We did also have the matching ribbing to go with this as well from Atelier Brunette, but it did sell out quite quickly. And when I tried to order it, they didn't have any. However, I do have an alternative for you. This is just a regular ribbing that we stock. Um, it is the Cream Fine Ribbed Tubular ribbing fabric and I think it's a pretty good match to be honest and um, it probably is slightly lighter in color than the Atelier Brunette one but I think it would still work really nicely together with it so if you did want ribbing then you could just go for a regular ribbing that comes with that but of course when the Atelier Brunette one is available again I will reorder it so yeah it just depends when you're watching the video and um, do always just email us if you see something and not in stock on the website that you want because we'll let you know first as soon as it comes back in. Now the next new things I've got to show you which are absolutely beautiful I love this time of year when they come back into stock is a gorgeous selection of the Nani Iroh fabrics. So Nani Iroh is a Japanese designer the fabrics come from Japan as well they're very sort of artistic, gorgeous colours. They're just beautiful. Most of them are on a double gauze base. So that is when it's those two really fine layers of cotton that have quite a loose weave. That's the sort of gauze part of it. And then they get kind of invisibly stitched together, two layers of them. So that's the double part of it. And then you've got this gorgeous print on the top. So there's quite a few different ones and um, this one is a brand new one I've not seen this design before it's very very subtle comes in two colorways so this one is a sort of off-white kind of color and then it's got these really beautiful got slight metallic accents in the fabric there as well lovely floral design and then we've also got the darker sort of navy blue colourway of it as well where I think you can probably see the flowers just kind of stand out a little bit more really um, but it's such a beautiful design as I said very subtle but such a lovely aesthetic in these fabrics and then the other ones are a bit more colourful again these are all still the double gauze base and they're quite sort of abstract and I think with these type of fabrics you just kind of have to go with it and just whatever part ends up on your garment you just you just kind of run with that some of them have a little bit more of a border print you can see in this particular one 
it's got more like a kind of strip that's down here so you could either just like cut it out and what will be will be pattern wise or what you could do is consider just turning it 90 degrees when you cut it out so instead of cutting say you're cutting out your bodice cutting it down up and down the way like that you could just spin it 90 degrees and cut it out that way instead and just line it up so that that was the bottom part of your your garment that you were making and then you could just hem it below that so a few different options for that one and um, but lovely colors in that so this one also comes in another colorway too that's more sort of cool colors that's this one here so it's a lovely sort of sagey green in the background and then nice oranges and sort of limey colors and those really pretty metallic accents in the fabric as well it's just gorgeous so all of these double gauze fabrics are suitable for nice summer tops or blouses you can make shirts with them i've seen people make nice versions of the closet core cali shirt before but any shirt pattern and um, would work with it or any sort of simple top pattern so it might be more like a kind of shell stop shell top style like the helen's closet ashton you know, something like that the willow the scout tee and um, the tilly and the button stevie tunic all of those kind of simple top patterns work really well with this type of fabric and um, this one's got those gorgeous little metallic accents in it as well much more of a kind of subtle color palette but still some really beautiful color tones in there love that turquoise that just sort of pops out every now and again and then i think i recognize this one i'm pretty sure i've maybe had it before but always welcome back again because it's so beautiful the little metallic accents in this one are actually pink which of course i love because i do really like pink stuff and um, so yeah another gorgeous range of colors in that one and then i think this one's the same as the ones that i showed you near the beginning in terms of the pattern and um, but quite a sort of fun summery color palette there lots of blues and pinks and greens so yeah another gorgeous gorgeous fabric in that one and then this one again i think we have had this one before as well but it is absolutely gorgeous it's so lovely to have it back as always this one's got really nice birds in it as well let's see if i've got it the right way round. um beautiful colors again such a lovely floral design hold it around that way um where are the birds let's try and find them yeah there they are they're quite abstract those little blue ones there but beautiful flowers a lovely color palette that's just so so lovely in summary and then so all of those ones that I've shown so far are all in that double gauze base but then we do have a few that are on a different base cloth which are just over here I think we've got a couple that are on a more kind of linen-y base cloth and just check if it's linen or if it's a mix no it is 100% linen so this is the same as that double gauze print that I showed you but it's just on yeah the linen base cloth again got really lovely metallic accents in the print it's a very kind of lightweight linen fabric so definitely going to be better for tops or if you're making a dress then you might want to line it i think you could either just line you could line it with linen i guess if you wanted it to generally be a bit more weighty the garment or else you could just line it with a cotton voile or a plain cotton lawn we've got we sell that in the shop as well it makes a really nice lining fabric um because it is a little bit more sheer that one and then this one here is actually called rexel is very similar to tensile so it's got that beautiful kind of lovely fluid drape to it so yeah if you've if you've worked with like woven viscose before if you've worked with tensile or rayon before then this is basically the same as that it's got that lovely sort of fluidity and kind of bounciness to it. it's gorgeous and then on that same print that i'd showed you before it's a lovely one absolutely beautiful this one isn't is more opaque like you can't see through this one let me just stick my hand behind it so i can show you so yeah nice and versatile that one you could definitely make a beautiful dress out of that one and then back into the linen department again we've got this one and um, so this is the same print as the other linen that i showed you but much more vibrant colors in this one a gorgeous kind of bright sort of tealy bluey color in the background with these bright bright pink flowers it's beautiful so again it is a little bit sheer so depending on what you're making you might want to consider lining it but another absolutely gorgeous one so that is all of the new nanny arrow fabrics that we've had and we do still have some in stock from the from past collections as well so you can check them out we've got a really nice selection of all of those different nanny arrow fabrics the next 
few fabrics that I've got to show you are all viscose fabrics and some of them are a crepe and then I think we do have some more plain weave ones as well. They're all really beautiful, they'll all be lovely for nice summery dresses or if you've been watching the sewing bee you can use them to make your buffy dress. Who knew that that's what they were called, those sort of long gathered maxi dresses which are so lovely and popular right now but I don't think anybody knew that that was what they were called. Um, so this one here is really nice, it's a sort of kind of like an abstract bit of a take on an animal print but actually some of the little shapes in it look a little bit like love hearts to me. Um, it's quite a warm creamy background and then the pattern on it is black and the texture is more like a viscose crepe so it's not a flat weave it does have a bit more of a sort of raised kind of yeah just textured appearance but lovely lovely drape and movement and then the next one is really popular as well it's a sort of like a kind of abstract spotty one but the spots are kind of irregular in size it's almost a bit like pebbles maybe um what have we called it scat bluebell scattered spots so the background is blue and then the spots on it i would say that they are black as well or a yeah i think they're black i think they look black to me you can't see through it at all which is great so it just makes it super versatile for dresses and yeah got that lovely sort of crepey texture to it as well so feels really really lovely and then the other ones are just on these rolls behind me here we've got this gorgeous spotty one which the spots on this one are as you can see a bit more of a regular rounded spot shape um, and then this gorgeous gorgeous nice summery blue color so again it's just going to be perfect for nice summer summer skirts summer dresses little summer tops it's beautiful um, and it's got a bit of a kind of crepey texture as well almost sort of like raised stripes that are on it a little bit it's beautiful really really nice and then the other woven viscose that we've got is this lovely bright red one here this is absolutely beautiful i love this shade of red it's so nice this fabric does feel much more softer so it's more like a plain weave viscose again you can't see through this one again so super versatile no need to line that or anything it's just lovely anything that's got a sort of fuller skirt whether it's gathered or it's maybe just more a-line any sort of skirt or dress that has got that would just look beautiful in this because it's just going to move around and swish really really nicely so that is all the new viscose prints that we've had and then the other things that are on the rolls just behind me here two colorways of this really lovely linen mix i'm pretty sure it's cotton and linen let me just check um, it's actually got a bit of viscose in it as well so 51% viscose 36% linen and 13% cotton so it does have a bit of a looser weave to it and a nice texture that's going to come from the linen but then if I hold a bit of it out then you're going to see that it does just kind of have a nice kind of floppy drapiness too which is where the viscose comes in and it's got so many beautiful colours lovely lovely kind of abstract print it would look stunning again as a nice summer sundress or a nice skirt um, with that bluey background and then all those different colour tones in it's lovely and then the other colourway is in just more sort of warmer shades so the background is more of a sort of winey colour and then really beautiful prints and oranges and yellows and the colours of it is lovely I love this one too beautiful make such a lovely summery summery garment and then not totally brand new i have to admit this one was hiding in the shop and we found it um, and then discovered that it actually sneaked in a few months ago but we didn't realize it was there um, but we've listed it online now this is a tensile denim and it is actually the same type of fabric that we used in our sewing society kits for this month to make the Hajun handmade Amherst blouse but this is a sort of in-between colorway so this is a mid blue denim and it's just such a lovely kind of classic fabric like if you're looking to make a really nice classic denim-y sort of dress or a skirt or a shirt this fabric is perfect lovely to wear 
very very soft as you can see it drapes and hangs beautifully too so it would look good in anything with gathers but equally it does press really nicely and sews really well so looks nice and details like button bands and collars as well so it is a super versatile fabric can't see through it at all so you don't need to line it so it is a really nice one to have if you're looking for that kind of denim look and then sticking with the summery vein We've got three colourways of this really beautiful cotton fabric here that's got these textured stripes on it. So these are 100% cotton and it comes in this really lovely marigold sort of um, orangey kind of yellowy colour and then this lovely kind of rich pinky colour, we'll call this one fuchsia and then just also in a kind of classic white as well so almost like reminds me a bit like sort of broidery anglaise fabric but it's in these stripes so the texture is just woven into the fabric which makes it beautiful it is fairly lightweight but perfect for summer and i think if you were making a top or a shirt i would say you probably wouldn't need to line it just make sure you're wearing a nice bra or you could wear a vest top underneath if you're using the white one otherwise you could line it just with a plain cotton lawn or a cotton voile and um, we do that in a white and a cream so that would be perfect for this one i think these would be perfect for little summer tops and summer blouses such gorgeous colors in that one and then this is possibly one of my favorite new ones i just love 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 the colors in it it's a cotton as well and it's a stripey one so the stripes are going at a right angle to the selvage they like run horizontally like that and um, we've called this one pastel candy stripe it is a pretty lightweight cotton so i would say if you were making a dress with it you are you are probably going to have to line it it's a little bit sheer but for a top or a blouse i don't think you would line it i would love to make my favorite shirt pattern which is the green line archer and um, i've made so many of them and i've got another summary version one that i made a few years ago that i just worn so much so it would be really nice to have another option in that vein and i just yeah i just love the color combination in that it's so nice so super super summery but it would equally look as good and just simple tops or if you were making a dress with it it would be really cool to like play with the directions of the stripes as well so for the skirt say you could have the stripes going up and down but then the bodice switch it round and have them horizontal and um, it's really nice with bolder stripes like that you can sort of mix it up a little bit and it also means that you don't need to worry about stripe matching as much if you've got the stripes going in all different directions so that is all the new cotton bases that we've had into stock and then just a few new jersey ones at the very end to show you this one here is pretty unusual it's got almost like a sort of basket weave to it like a checkered effect and it is cotton with a bit of elastane so it's a jersey fabric it's got a really lovely amount of stretch to it lovely kind of whiny color with a classic navy as well it would be really good for lightweight summery cardigans or you could use it just to make t-shirts or tops as well it's probably a bit lightweight to make a jumper and um, but just such a really unusual fabric for a jersey because it is so textured but yeah nice and nice and stretchy and feels really soft as well because it's cotton and then we've got two colorways of a really nice viscose printed jersey so this one here this is rose gemstones and it's viscose with a bit of elastane in it so yeah it is a stretchy jersey fabric but it's got such beautiful beautiful drape and movement because of the viscose element to it it would look lovely as a nice summer dress or a top again i'm going to mention the closet core ebony because it's got that such full a-line shape in the hem so it's really lovely and swishy perfect for kind of fuller garments like that but equally it would look good in fitted t-shirts as well so that is the pinky colorway and then we have also got it in this one here which is the jade one and um, i love them both i don't know i think i maybe prefer the jade one it's beautiful and um, just such lovely color tones in that one so i hope you've enjoyed seeing all of those new fabrics and get lots of inspiration for your next dressmaking projects i'll link all the fabrics that i've mentioned in a blog post that goes with this video so check out the link to that in the description to this video and then it just means that all of the fabrics I've mentioned are in one place linked together but do check out the just arrived section new stuff is arriving there generally every week we have some new things so it's always the best place to keep up 
up to date with the latest new arrivals. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.